a pile of them in here. There's a busy, busy township road in between us and where these birds are roosting. A creek, big thicket, <laughs> and we usually shoot them right here on this knob. I don't know how many we've shot here, but it's quite a few. And this one sounds like he's coming already, just right off the roost. Make a call and see if we can hear him. that road, we know we're getting. Because <laughs> it's, it's like a slam dunk deal. And he shouldn't be coming, but they do a lot. Did you hear that pheasant? I heard a pheasant. We've got another. There's two. <laughs> but he might stand there. I killed one here one time. It stood there on the face of that hill. And he gobbled every time a car came by. Eventually, there's a lot of traffic, early morning traffic here. About 8 o'clock after the traffic had slowed down, he came on across it. I shot him right here. With that old long dog. That's a different one. Unless he turned around. I don't know, because that one is close. That one's right on the face of the hill. Do you think he comes to the food plot? Are you kidding? <laughs> 
Good job! <gasps> That's about as fast as it can happen, ain't it? Yeah. How many times have you done that in the same spot? Quite a few. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a few. Good job! I'm gonna go get him before we lose him. Here he is. Uh, he flopped down in here into the food plot. He's a good one, man. He was gobbling like a long beard, wasn't he? Yeah, man. That's because he is one. We didn't even think we were going to hear anything today. Oh, yes, yes. That was awesome. He came up there and looked us right in the face, didn't he? That's the way they do, man. You get one in the mood when he's on that, on that hill, he crosses that busy road, the creek. It <laughs> comes right up on this knob. I don't know why they do it, but they do it. That's awesome. He's they a do. nice one too. You haven't killed a turkey on this property in how long? Uh, well, you brought Cody out here. He killed one in 2020. And we haven't we haven't hunted out here since um, the bird population was down partly due to us maybe we shot a bunch of birds and we shot them early in the year and I mean populations fluctuate so this this year we I mean we haven't even been out here it's the first time we haven't come out to listen because if you know if you're gonna kill one you're better off to do it late. Obviously, he didn't have any any hen, any hens to be serviced, so he thought he made a new girlfriend. But you uh, you really got to be careful about when you kill them, I think, and and how many of them you kill. Fortunately, we're only allowed one tag in Ohio now, and. Uh, I think it's a great move. I wouldn't mind if they moved the season back a couple of weeks, actually. And I know it would make it harder for some people to kill a bird, but I mean, how important is it to kill one, you know? I'd rather see huge flocks of them than have a bunch of dead ones. Because that, that's a short-term, short-term thing. You can overshoot them, I think. You over-harvest them. And I'd rather have them around than get too many of them. That other one was gobbling his head off in that little piece of woods, wasn't he? Yep. I'm gonna go video him. I never did get my phone on. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> right there, man. And then when I did turn it on, I had I turned it on after I shot, and it's a good thing I didn't try to turn it on before because the flash was. I saw that. On. I've never. Was he trying to get out of there? I saw his head. And I don't know. I... He kind of like turned, but he acted like he was in a half a strut or something. And I couldn't see him that good. I hit him with a. Right. Because I was like, oh, he's about to leave. And I saw you throw the gun up. They, they come across that road. They ain't fooling around because they're like, traffic's coming. Yeah. <laughs> and they hustle across there. You would think, oh, they're roosted across the road. And there was two or three over there. And you, you would think, oh, I don't have a chance at them. Well, the first time that I, I killed one like this, I did I thought the same thing. I thought, wow, oh, clear across the road, across the creek, across all that stuff, they ain't coming. But at the time, I, I didn't have permission over there. I do now, but at the time, I didn't have permission over there, so I couldn't go after them. So I just sat down on, on this knob and called just to hear them gobble. And the next thing you know, he ran across the road. And then I don't know how many times they've done it since. <laughs> But I hear them over there. That's better than being set up underneath of them, really. So Mason and I came out today and wrapped up the season. Filled my tag, finally. Had a really good year. Um, I've been hunting them with a recurve all year. I killed one two years ago with a recurve. 
and you know, I, I just, it just kind of hooked me. So last year I hunted every day that I hunted all season long. I was hunting with that recurve and I didn't kill one, which is all right. You don't really need to kill one to enjoy turkey hunting. Every day this year until, I don't know, a day or two ago, I've been hunting with a bow. And I have seen a lot of turkeys. I've had them really close. I could have killed some jakes. Didn't have any long beards in recurve range, which you got to keep in mind. That's That means they're really close, locked on a decoy, uh, not leaving. That's how... That's how I want to shoot them. And uh, they just, they're not, they go through phases. And, and the whole season, the long beards have been with, you know, they've had their harems and they haven't wanted to, haven't wanted to lock down on a decoy. Had one the other day until noon. That bird stood out there 50 yards or so and gobbled hundreds and hundreds of times, strutted. Got some cool video of him. Um, Actually, I think he, the neighbor shot him on a different property. I believe it was probably the same bird a day or two after that. The neighbor would probably sat up there and listened to that bird gobble three or four hundred times that day. <laughs> Drove him nuts because we weren't a couple hundred yards off the fence. I just heard another one. <laughs> anyway, Mason and I got up this morning, came out here to our place. He's gobbling away. Came over here to our place. We bought this place a couple years ago. And this is the farm Mason shot his first turkey on, his first buck on. We've got a lot of a lot of good memories here. Turkey population's been down. We haven't we haven't turkey hunted out here in a long time. And uh, just kind of on a whim, we came out here today. We haven't been out here to listen. Um, we haven't, haven't been out here at all. And there was in 2020, the last, last bird we shot out here, there was quite a few birds around then. But it really still wasn't quite back to the good old days. So today we came out and it was sounded like it was pretty much back to the good old days. There was two or three gobbling across the road, two back over here gobbling. Um, just a great morning. Heard pheasants cackling, geese squawking, turkeys gobbling. Didn't hear any quail, but I'm sure they were squawking too. And uh, these, these birds were roosted across the road, across the creek, across the nasty thicket. And over the years, we've probably shot a half a dozen birds that were roosted clear across the township road and called them over to us on this property. I don't know why, but they'll cross that road like nothing. And I mean, it's heavily traveled too. Lots and lots of cars going to work up and down that road every morning. When these birds get, uh, when they're in the right mood and they time it up, they don't hear any cars coming, they come running across <laughs> up this knob where little Brock and Mason's waiting on them. <laughs> it's almost unfair. He did the same exact thing many of his ancestors have done and that puts them in the crock pot. <laughs> He's a beautiful bird, beautiful morning. Enjoyed being out here with my son. We don't get a hunt together as much as we used to because he's a busy boy you know school and everything and uh, it was a nice day and now we got a nice turkey well, what just happened because now they're gonna be like what the heck are they doing video on turkeys right there what happened we're just hit there she is yep that's a hen so mason and I separated today, this morning, first thing, because we haven't been out here at all. <laughs> so he came over to this side of the farm to listen here, to this this end, and he dropped me off over there. It's a, it's a long, long distance between the two places and you can't hear both sides. So we wanted to split up and see <laughs> see where the birds were. Well, we had one over there in kind of a magic spot where you make a call, they run across the road, and you shoot them. So Mason came on over, but there was birds gobbling over here somewhere. Well, we stopped. He had the truck on this side of the farm, so we walked out this way. And 
We stopped up there at what we call the four corners to make a call just to see if we could hear one gobble. We heard these guys gobble, and I thought they were over here in this hay field. They're not, they're, they're in our hay field. There's two gobblers and a hen, and none of them care too much about us here in the truck. These two guys are just gobbling their heads off and strutting, and this hen's just walking kind of towards us. Man, she looks up at us once in a while, but she doesn't seem too bothered by us. Back's got some hooks, man. Oh my goodness, has he got hooks. He did the same exact thing many of his ancestors have done, and that puts him in the crock pot. <laughs>